Who called it? Who called it? Not me. I'm not saying me. You guys called it the Fire Smoky Jack Fire Fire Jack Lantern, which I will be calling Fire Smoky Jack for the next 20 minutes. Also, the rest of my life. Fire Fire Jack a Lantern Hall of Heroes, cause it's October and it's come to us. You know they do. You know they like. Hmm. Cause last October they did. Uh, they actually introduced these last October, didn't they? These and then the the Frankenstein's. So let's see what we got going on here. So we like so many of you guys called it. You're like, I bet you they're gonna do Smoky Jack Jack a Lantern. Uh, his name is Smokey. That's why. It's so long. It's Saturday morning summons from a long time ago. Smokey Jack has just been, and I said it sounded like a hamburger. Okay. Does it sound like a Jack in the Box? Like Smokey, Smokey Jack Burger, right? Fire Smokey Jack sounds like a Jack in the Box burger. Okay. You guys probably a lot of you don't know what Jack in the Box is. It's a it's a restaurant, fast food restaurant. Uh, so it's October fourteenth. To October 17th that will be I will still be in Vegas then okay so I will be good and I'll be packing so I don't even have to worry about it I'll be just doing the Hall of Heroes while I'm loading stuff into the into the whatever's great great this way I don't have to keep babysitting the tablet I could just have that on do very long runs it's not a problem fantastic Fantastic, very long runs, not have to worry about anything, don't need to speed run this, ha, <laughs> because we know what happens when we speed run. Okay, so let's look at this monster, let's see if we like him. Uh, as you can see, I already have a couple. Uh, and I was thinking about building this guy a while ago, but the thing he's, the thing I think he's best for, or the things I think he's best for, I already have solutions for, so that's why I haven't built him yet. Uh, I still might, I still might just to play with him. Let's see what he does, okay. He's an attack based monster, he's got, his speed could be better, could be worse, nothing, nothing crazy, it's average. Uh, this, is good. this is exactly how you should ruin him, no I'm just kidding. Uh, when he's awakened, what does he have? Increases HP of ally monsters in dungeons by 33%. HP dungeons only, okay, so we're talking about anything in Kados dungeon. The thing is though, Veramos has the same leader skill, but it's global, right? So where could we use him? We gotta think about it. So why is why is why is the HP decent of a leader skill? Where can we use him that we don't use Veramos maybe? Okay. Let's take a look at his skills. His skills. Trickster, first skill attack the enemy three times with each hit having a 30 each hit having a 30% chance. 30% chance to decrease the target's attack speed for two turns. Okay. Uh, and harmful effect rate plus 10 plus 10. There we go. Three attacks. So I already see three attacks and attack speed down. I already see a great potential potential use for this monster is Necropolis. For Necropolis, I know you guys like to say, oh, Orochi for Necropolis because he's got so many hits on his third skill and things like that. And oh, do Yaku for Necropolis because he's got so many hits on his third skill. The best the best multi-hit attacks are the first skills for Necropolis. And it's really important also, Speed Break is the number one, the number one debuff to put on the the Lich King for Necropolis. The number one, because everyone's speed is limited. As soon as you hit that Speed Break, you can't, you know, you're gonna speed buff for yourself. Like, yeah, okay, good, have fun with that. But Speed Breaking the, uh, the Lich King, basically, if you get that Speed Break on him, you are almost guaranteed to win after that. As long as you have a decent team, you're almost guaranteed to win. So if you can't land that Speed Break, you're gonna have a problem. Uh, so that's why a speed break and a multi-hit attack is very important for uh, for the and lots of multi-hit attacks for the for the first skill because in your revenge you already got three hits down on the shield before your and before your monsters take your turn their turns uh, we have ghost appearance calls upon the wandering souls want wandering wandering souls do they mean wandering or do they mean what I souls could wonder I guess wandering souls but I think they meant wandering to attack the target four times. Each hit has a 30% chance to increase the target's chance of dealing a glancing hit. And then we have uh, 5 and 15, and we have a cool time turn minus 1, so we get it uh, reasonable on 3 turns. 4 hits. Again, this just says... Ooh, Necropolis. Ooh, Necropolis. Ooh! Ooh! Necropolis. 3 and 4. What is the third skill? Attacks all enemies 2 times. AoE. 
Each attack, if they get 50% chance to decrease the target's attack power to strip HP recovery. So double hit. Uh, and then we have 10 and 15% harmful effect rates on top of that. And another cool time turn, so it's reusable in four turns. Uh, this is actually one of those monsters that I kind of don't want to do the cool time turn minus one on. Strangely enough. Uh, it sounds weird, because it, it does have the AoEs. If you have enough things to deal with the AoEs in Necropolis as well, uh, and we're talking about Necropolis here, uh, I, I, I would not want that cool time turn maxed for Necropolis, because then he's going to be less reliable, because this only hits two times, right? It's an AoE, but it hits two times, so having it maxed is going to be a little bit better for the waves on the way to the Lich, but I don't think too many people have a problem on the way to the Lich, it's the Lich that I, they have a problem on. This cool time turn minus one, uh, I'm going to be a little weird Jew bagel now. Uh, the cool time turn minus one is going to make this reusable in four turns, so he's going to use this more often when we really want him to use the three hit and the four hit. We'd rather him not use the two hit on the boss, because then we're going to get the shield broken bus. So that's just my personal opinion. I like the I like the cool time turn minus one on here, but I'm not too crazy about the. I don't really want a cool time turn if if I maxed like this one, right? And I didn't really max, you know, if I maxed everything and still had this cool time turn not maxed, I would be like, nah, I don't even want to worry about. It. Not even worried about if as long as everything else was good. Uh, we don't really need to, we, I don't see him that we need to max him to be good in Necropolis. I think as long as we have good runes, he could be good in Necropolis. So, yeah, we've been talking about, uh, we've been talking about Necropolis a lot. Uh, let's see where else, what, what, uh, where else can we use him? Okay, so, he's a fire-based monster, can we take him into Giants B10? Really not my pick for Giants B10, he's got element disadvantage, plus... He's really... I, I don't see him as being a great monster for Giants B10. For Dragons B10, you can AoE disturb attack power, but this is... He's really not even my first choice for... It depends on the team. If you have a lot of AoE attack age reduction, he could be okay for Dragons B10. He's really not anywhere near... But I would not build him for Dragons B10. I'd build him for Necropolis. Definitely, he's an MVP for Necropolis. Triple hit... Uh, quadruple hit and then double hit here Fantastic, let's say you built him uh, and violent revenge of course Violent revenge for necropolis. I wonder how hard he hits for attack crit damage attack I guess maybe we'll build him and find out should we build him? Let me know in the comments if you want me to if you want me to build him and actually use him in necropolis because I'm, I'm sure we can do that uh, Let's see uh, or if you have one and you want to let me know you can email me you guys know my email you guys know my email <sighs> And we're gonna go over the email debacle again. Let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's my email address. There you go. It's a Saturday morning something thing. But you but you can see my email address on there. Okay. So we can test him out. Or I can build him, it's fine. Uh so speed break, glancing hit, attack break, and HP recovery. Uh disturb HP recovery. This guy's actually not bad for raids either. Uh, I happen to have a really good raid team, I have a very speedy raid team, but if you think about all the debuffs you need to apply for raids, you need the speed break, you need the attack break, you need... I mean, you still need another attack break uh, aside from this. I want to say it's just my opinion, but you really, really, really need another attack break aside from this. That's why you got like something like Colleen. But if you bring him... if you between him and Colleen... It's gorgeous, man, it's gorgeous. Because she's got the... No, she's got the attack break on her first skill, which is very important for raids. But he's got the speed break for the first skill, which is very important. MVP for MVP for uh, for Necropolis B10. So I think I would do him maybe attack or damage attack or something similar to that. You know, on some of my on some of my Necropolis, I've I've done whatever gets the job done. You know, if you want to do attack, crit damage, HP, if he's dying too easy, or if you want to do like. Defense, crit damage, attack, defense, attack, attack. Whatever gets the job done, it's mostly about just making it happen, getting all those debuffs on, getting all those hits to take that uh, shield down. But, Violent Revenge. So let's say he's on Violent Revenge, 
and we proc one revenge and we proc one violent, right? What is gonna happen? We proc one revenge, he hits three times on the shield. You know, the, I mean, did I say, did I say giant? Necropolis, the Lich King, right? Uh, no, I didn't say giant, did I? I don't even know if I said giant. Sometimes I just talk. Anyway, so we revenge. Uh, the, the Lich hits us, we revenge, and we do three hits. Then we do, uh, we, we get a, our first turn, when we actually get our turn. We do this, we get four hits. That's seven hits, and then we get one violent proc, and we use this, we get another two hits on top of that. That's nine hits, just with one revenge and one violent proc for this one monster. This guy's crazy good. He's crazy good for Necropolis. And if he gets, even if he, if he doesn't hit this, he'll hit this, he'll uh, decrease the attack speed. It's beautiful debuffs, beautiful debuffs. And he's got almost, he's got four of the six debuffs that you want for raids. The only thing that he doesn't have is defense break and a brand. I guess this would make more sense, right? So the only thing he doesn't have is a defense break and a brand. So he's not, and you kind of need the defense. You do need the defense break for, for raids. Uh, especially at the especially at the end because you want to make sure you want to make sure you try to kill him as fast as possible in the I'm talking in the raids in the, the three men uh, the rift of worlds raids so I'm not talking about the rift beasts I'm not talking about those let's see are could this guy be good for rift beasts he like I said he doesn't have a defense break he doesn't have a brand and those are the debuffs for rift beasts so, is he gonna be good for light? No, he's gonna suck at the light rift beast. He's gonna be awful for that. Is he gonna be good for fire? No, he's not. Uh, no, actually, he's, he's not gonna be that bad for fire. He's got the AoE, right? And he's an attack-based monster, so he's an attack-based monster with one AoE. So he's not gonna be that bad for fire. Is he gonna be good for water? No, he's not gonna be good for water. Is he gonna be good for dark? He could be good for dark. He's got multi-hit attacks. He could be good for dark. But he really, the only debuffs we want are the defense break and the brand. We don't care about, uh, we don't care about the attack break because we can only put him on in groggy state. So we don't care about the attack break. We don't care about the heal block. We don't care about, um, what else? Glancing hit. So we can only put debuffs on when he's in groggy. So we don't care about nerfing the attack power of a monster that can't attack, right? So he is there for the three men Rift Beast and he is there for Necropolis B10. He's great for Necropolis. That is an area that he shines. If you need help with Necropolis and you're thinking about building a Fire Smoky Jack, he is a great monster. I would also recommend, I don't know if you guys, this guy did so much for my Necropolis game. This bad boy, Rigel, did so much for my Necropolis game. Crazy, crazy. I mean, he made, he made it just so much more consistent and quicker uh, to do that. But this guy as well, this, this jack-o'-lantern, He's gonna be beautiful. And they have they have something in common. They have, uh, take a look at his first skill too. Attacks two to three times, decrease enemy's attack speed. So, and if you guys wanna see, I would build them the same way. Uh, actually, I would go, well, you can go attack, crit rate, uh, attack, attack, crit damage, attack. Uh, this way, with the crit rate, a lot of times I'm like, I don't know who I want. This is a great crit rate rune. Look at this rune, this is a beautiful rune. And I'm like, I don't want to let this go to waste. Who could this be good for? It could be good for a dungeon monster, right? It could be good for a dungeon monster. I mean, it could be good for a bunch of different monsters, too. But that's a gorgeous, gorgeous crit rate rune. Gorgeous six-star rune. Didn't want to let it go to waste. Why let it go to waste? Why not just put really good crit rate on him? Uh, he does really well, actually. But you can do the same thing for... You could put attack or damage attack. You could put attack crit rate attack on here. I like to... I like crit rate on my necropolis monsters because it's consistent. This way I don't have to, because there's so much RNG involved with like who's gonna violent proc and take the shields down and things like that. I'm like there's one less thing I have to worry about if I have consistent crits. Some people like to do that in Dragon's B10 too. I know some people that like to do uh, crit rate on uh, slot 4 for Spectra for Dragon's B10 just so it's consistent crit rate. Uh, so they're consistently critting. But that's what I would do, I would go uh, Vout Revenge some kind of attack build or maybe a hybrid but i would focus mostly on attack not really too much on speed uh but i would do violent revenge for him he's gonna be he's gonna be beautiful be beautiful for necropolis that's where he shines he's okay at raids 
He can do raids, he can be a nice uh, addition to your raid team, but Necropolis is... this guy's the man. The man. So it's actually not a bad secret dungeon. Uh, I know some of you guys can be like, but we want a Chloe and Lucian. They're not going to give us Chloe and Lucian secret, uh, secret dungeons. Hall of Heroes. <sighs> They're not going to give us those guys. Not going to happen. All right. Maybe, maybe like when the game is dying, they're like, the uh, Chloe secret dungeon. No, <laughs> I don't see that happening anytime soon. But um, yeah, this guy's good for getting Necropolis done. They give us the the Lich Hall of Heroes too, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do, uh, we'll do a video using him in Necropolis later. Either I'll build one or I'll find someone that's got him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We basically just said he's good at Necropolis. Too long, didn't read. Uh, this guy's good at Necropolis. Built him if you don't have a Necropolis V10 team yet. There you go. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you as always in the next one.